Entrepreneurship 201. I'm here with Frankie Roscom and she started Francis Roscom Photography. And can you just tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, I got into photography when I was 15. Um, my grandpa gave me a camera and have just been really, it's just something I love to do. And you're a student here? Yes, I'm a junior. So how did photography turn into a business for you? Photography turned into a business kind of um, unexpectedly and it started with the Miami student reaching out to me to ask me for the rights to my pictures because I have friends who are editors and so I started doing that and then more people kept coming to me asking me to take pictures for them for various reasons. My Bible study leader from last year asked me to do house pictures and paid me. My RA and her friend group wanted to do senior pictures last year and so from there um, decided to start a Facebook page and Instagram and just offer my services because I couldn't just keep taking pictures all the time and I needed to make it something profitable so it's something that I could invest my time in. Okay, was that hard to take it from a hobby to an actual business? In a sense it was hard to define that I needed to make it profitable or not continue to invest my time in it. It was challenging that I, my strengths aren't in the number side, but I had a friend who offered to partner with me. Okay, so you have a partner, and then you have a couple people that you contract to photograph. Mm -hmm. My friend Luke approached me asking if I thought about monetizing it, monetizing my photography, and so he offered to come alongside to make it a more effective business venture. We split our profit 70-30. We, we have contacts that we asked to do pictures and to do photography sessions if it doesn't work with my schedule and so we contract them. What was the hardest part in growing? I think the hardest part was the time commitment. It means um, evaluating if photography is something that I'm investing my time in so that other people invest their money. What do you think makes your business different than other photography businesses? Um, I think the fact that I am a student Doing photography as a business makes me different. And then I have contacts with a lot of different um, organizations that I'm involved with. So those student orgs contact me and hire Francis Roscoe Photography to do work that they're seeking to hire. But they also it's attractive for them because they save money in hiring me because I'm not an established professional in this field. But I do good work. I know that you're still in the early stage of your business, but do you think it's been successful this far? And um, even with your success, do you think that there's anything that you want to see change? I think thus far we have been successful in that um, I've been hired and I can't take all the business that I'm getting. I have to say no sometimes. I don't have the time because of my student schedule. But also I know that I can get more technical skills and I'm seeing the limitations of my camera in terms of I'm trying to do higher level photography and maybe it's the technology that's holding me back. And where do you see your business growing in the near future? In the near future I see it expanding more um, with student orgs especially because a lot of times they're looking for photographers and also with Greek life that's my involvement has opened up a lot of opportunities and so right now you target you said mostly student organizations and Greek life do you plan to expand to other venues I would love to do weddings someday um, or like more portrait photography or have people who are interested in purchasing my work that I do of still lifes or landscapes and kind of the more art form of it I found Frankie's business venture to be very interesting because she didn't start with a business model or a lean canvas filled out, but her business came to her out of a need that people had, which is where good businesses start. She hasn't lost any money because she used the means that she already had to solve the problem of people needing affordable professional photos, and she already has the editing system on her computer, and to turn that into a profitable business was very smart on her part. I think it's really cool also that although Frankie didn't have a business model, uh, her interview displayed that she had all the aspects to fill out a business model and the parts that she couldn't fill out, she found a partner to fulfill those needs. 
Through Frankie's experience, I can see that anything can really be done when there is a need for something. This applies to my own life because I want to soon start a bakery which I see a need for in Oxford and I want to start on a very small scale just as Frankie has.